based on the topic gravitational force. So, what exactly is gravitational force? Good. <laughs> I'll let you all know about what are the things we have used to make this project. Uh, so this, the, for making the earth we have used a pressure ball and for making the moon this is a paper ball we made and uh, this is the card. Uh, production of such a massive energy, this special fuel is being used as liquid hydrogen and it is also called less uh, rocket fuel. <coughs> when it reaches the earth's surface due to the uh, <coughs> influence of maximum gravitational pull, a large amount of fuel is being consumed uh, <coughs> in order to surpass the gravitational field of the Earth. Mm -hmm. So, escape velocity plays a prominent role. Uh, escape velocity was discovered by our greatest scientist, Sir Isaac Newton. He had the idea of the This idea was first tried in the year 1999. <coughs> Here a question may arise, what is escape velocity? Escape velocity is the minimum velocity sir, which the body must have in order to escape from the Earth's gravitational field. So escape velocity is different for different planets depending upon the gravitational pull of a planet. Uh, let us consider an example. Uh, if I throw an object vertically upwards, it will fall down because of the gravitational pull of the Earth. So if I throw a same object with a speed of 11.2 km per second, then it will cross the Earth's surface and will consider as escape velocity because the Earth's gravitational field no more attracts the object. And sir, <coughs> lastly, uh, our, <coughs> similarly, sir, in a similar way, uh, scientists have designed rockets uh, to travel from one planet to <coughs> other or to go out of the solar system entirely. That is by breaking the Earth's gravitational force. Uh, <coughs> they use the rotational velocity of the Earth uh, <coughs> by uh, speeding up the rocket. Uh, and to launch them beyond the reach of the Earth's gravity. Uh, so, sir, last but not the least, I would like to conclude that escape, uh, escape velocity does not depend upon the mass of the rockets. It depends upon the mass and uh, radius of the planets. Thank you. Which is based on the topic gravitational force. So, what exactly is gravitational force? Gravitational force is the force of attraction between two masses. And the value of our gravitational constant is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg per second. Okay. And further explanation will be done by my partner. So what my partner has said right now, here is a model known as the main focus is on the gravitational force, right? Yeah. And so, so first thing we have two masses present here, M1 and M2. And in according to Newton's law, we have Okay. We have learned that if the object distance because, uh, increases, the force of attraction between them de decreases, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why Earth also has a limitation for to attract the object on Earth, right? And that's why this M1 object, if we place it in this region, then it doesn't get attracted. Okay. It falls over and over again. But if I place it in the level of gravity attraction, mm -hmm. where the gravity increases, if we get in inner, right? And if I place it in the... We are to present our 3D solar model. Uh, and we, we are going to speak about some of the advantages and disadvantages and how it works and its uses. And how the estimation will keep by First of all, this is the only 3D solar model where the where the solar solar panel uh, solar absorbs the sun radiation and convert the energy into other form of energy. So, for example, if solar panel is inserted here and it will take the sun radiation and present in here a PV cell is present here, which converts the energy and we can use it in other form. PV cell. Yeah. What is photo of PV? Photo. Photo voltage. Photo voltage. Yes. Okay. Then uh, here, actually, from the, this concept, we are going to explain how ex explain that we have to produce the electricity in a low cost because nowadays the electricity, the production of electricity, the expense ex expenses so much. For example, uh, hydropower itself, it, it takes a lot of money to create the dam also, but uh, in, it also affects the livelihood of other people and animals and to human beings and if we will talk about the coal energy, coal itself it is a mineral. So when in one day it is going to be extinguished, so we have to find an alternative in our world to. What is going to be extinguished? Uh, 
coal, coal, okay. Oh, okay. coal and which, which is going to be extinguished in a year. So we have to find an alternate to pr produce electricity. Mm -hmm. And if you compare this model with other generator and inverter, this model produces a less amount of energy at a period of time. But uh, and the generators are effective, but it is taking a fuel and a lot of noise pollution to create the ellipse, but it is not taking any other noise pollution and it is it, it can produce electricity in a, in a very low expense. Thank you, sir. Okay. Do that again. You did something there, no? Okay. A switch is uh, present here, which... What is... What is... Motor is here? Yeah, yeah. Motor is here. Okay. This is what... Based on the topic, water cycle. So, for this project, we have used home sheet for making this information in that small bit. And we have used that water for that for evaporation. And for that, and this land we have used it for sun, in the form of sun. And this, it is a cloud. So, yes. we will explain the process. Oh, so, our project name is water cycle. So, in this, the water rises from the water bodies in the form of water. Uh, water vapors uh, due to increase in temperature. The, uh, water, uh, the clouds condenses in the form of water droplets, and that is known as precipitation. And after that, it goes down to the, uh, it goes back down to the earth in the form of uh, water droplets. So it goes back to the water bodies again. This, this is how the uh, water cycle continues, and this is why the amount of water is always the same on the as it was in the first. Evaporation. Evaporation happening. And the evaporation, this is what the vapor is present in the our project on the topic, uh, the law of gravity. So first of all, I'll let you all know about what are the things we have used to make this project. Uh, so this, the, for making the earth, we have used a pressure ball. And for making the moon, this is a paper ball we made. And uh, this is the cardboard and we just painted it all, all over with uh, black fabrics. And this is the sun and the fairy lights we have used here. And this is the thread to bind the moon. So now, uh, this project, uh, it follows the principle of the law of gravity. As, uh, the force of attraction is higher near the earth, so it is uh, being more attracted, but when we take it a bit far away, then it gets deflected. So the magnitude gets uh, lesser and the magnitude gets uh, higher when it comes near the earth, but when it uh, gets like, when it gets uh, far away from the earth, then it gets deflected and it gets fall down. So this is what our uh, project mainly is, and now, but what are the benefits of knowing this project and what are the uses of this project?